Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to integrate the WhatsApp with the Tilio. Now, in this one, the only difference between the previous one and this one is we are going to use Node.js API or Webhook or, or what else we say? Uh, yeah, by using code. Okay, anyway, uh, so the last time we saw that how uh, this by using this console, we can send a message, right? Now, similarly, if you see over here, there are various, uh, what do you say, languages are mentioned, which you can use to send the message, okay? And what you required is account SID, which you can get from the home. So, if I copy this one beforehand and click over here, account SID and account token, these are the two items which we required to perform SDK functions and and obviously do that uh, functionality from the code side okay so if you see the account SID is over here and auth token is over here okay so what I will do I will go to my uh, over here so if you see my SID is mentioned over here and obviously the auth token is also there which I will not show <laughs> Okay, so what we are doing over here, we are just uh, created our Node.js function. Okay, don't worry about it. I will share this code in the GitHub and the link is already given in the comment section. Okay, now what we will do, we will try to send a message again. Okay, and this time we will say hi sending from Node.js. Okay, so I will go to my console. Okay, and or is it over here? No, it's not here. Just a second. Okay, so now I have moved the file to over here to the location where I was looking for. Okay, so what we will do, we will go to the command and console over here. Uh, we will type node space WhatsApp dot js. That is the, my file name. Okay. So once it executes, it gives me one. A message ID which is of no use for me right now but if I go back to my uh, Tilio right you will see that uh, I have received the message now this is only the one side right now if I reply back as a user if I reply back to this uh, number assume it as a bot right so it should receive to one end right for that what we will do is from the Tilio side Again, we will go back to that uh, sandbox, WhatsApp sandbox, uh, WhatsApp sender, try it out, inside, try it out, over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, okay, so it has loaded. Uh, so what I will do now, uh, in the sandbox so this is what we tested now in that there is another section called sandbox settings right so this is where you can specify like the callback URL when the message comes in what means that if I reply hi right right now it will do nothing because there is nothing has been configured to handle so once this number this number receives a message from me right Oops receives a message from me there should be an action to be performed right that has been not configured so that is what I'm showing so now over here if we go to the sandbox settings when the message comes in you can provide an URL okay now for that we already have a code so what I will do is I will have this uh, where it is uh, index.js uh, again this code is available in github link is already been given uh, so don't uh, uh, don't worry about it okay so in a nutshell what this is it is a node.js express uh, how to explain it's an express which is like uh, for java we have tomcat right uh, web container similarly in node.js you just using the express you can expose the uh, methods to the cloud or public 
okay so that is enough from my side i am not a node js expert but i use node js mostly for all this thing because it's very light container uh, i can just uh, install express so if you see over here i have installed express and that's it nothing else i have to do and the syntax are very easy to understand if you see over here what i am doing is app get hello and app get uh, and this is a path like the url path and it will respond with this one i already coded for reply uh, which we will give over there so let's don't waste time node index.js once i do that it starts right now if i open this one i will get a message uh, called hello world let me do that so if you see over here hello world this is coming from the code given over here similarly if i give a reply it should give me an error because because cannot get reply because this is for the post i am handling so if i add something like uh, reply and hello world from reply okay so if i do this then it will be a different scenario i should get a message now saying hello world from reply okay so in a nutshell you got the idea what exactly the express is doing now what i will do i will start my ng rock okay ngrog again is again to allow your tunneling from public to your local system that's a high level so what in which port we are running we are running our so if you see over here we are running on port number 3000 so that is what i have given now once i run this one ngrog did i run okay it gives me an https url which is like nothing but a public url to access this local host and that url i will give over here okay and we want post and we will click on save okay so once we do that okay so once we do that now what will happen if i say hi right now this will come to uh, my system over here why it didn't came? Why? Mm. Okay. Not sure what was the issue. Uh, so, okay. Now again, if I say hi. Okay. Now if you see over here, uh, I got the message hi. Okay. And I have configured something where you can reply back so if you go back to the code if i go back to my code okay so over here uh if i reply hi then i will reply you back with uh, something like hello there how can i assist you and if i reply back something it will assume that it is the name and then it will reply back okay and reply back means it's just using the same uh code that we saw over here right the same code is used over here just that we are just sent uh, what do you say sending a different message okay now if i say hi okay so i will i should get a message something like hello there how can i assist you come on did i said hi Oh, I'm not getting in the postman. Why? Okay, so it has triggered. And if I come back over here, you see over here, hello there, how can I assist you? Uh, that is what we got. Now let's say if I give my name to the bot or to the this one, okay. Uh, so I should get a response saying hi Rajiv how are you I'm gonna assist you now this is just like when I am typing and when I reply back it 
triggers this message and it's all hard coded right now if you want to integrate with the nlp uh, just example right uh, or you can integrate with any other things right there is examples like chat gpt dialog flow plot or uh, weather channel and all those things so there are many things that you can handle right uh, there is one channel called uh, uh, tech tech no couple right so they have few videos uh, uh, the techno couple where they have listed out a few examples how to use uh, uh, whatsapp telio and the different use cases so you check out the channels they have um so yeah this is the video where we are showing how to use webhook sdk and all this thing to connect to your Twilio sandbox environment and how to have to and fro interaction by using this uh, what is it webhook as a middle layer okay Hopefully you like the video. If any query, just put in the comment section. Again, the codes are available in the GitHub. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, sorry. One more <laughs> announcement uh, is that uh, next will be how to integrate with the Dialogflow bot or Dialogflow knowledge, right? FAQs. So thank you.